Well, what are you waiting for? Those strippers need saving. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 14 of Supernatural season four, Sex and Violence. This is the first time a siren appears in the show. And it also starts to slowly build more of the distrust between Sam and Dean, even though it is a slight retread of what kind of happened in season one and a little bit of season two, this is definitely starting to break the brothers, which will eventually lead to when the levee breaks. I'm kind of in the middle between this episode. I like parts of it. I do like that Hoyt is the siren in the end. They do that little bit of a switcheroo and it's kind of actually not as obvious as I thought it would be, but I remember when I saw him, I was like, oh yeah, he's the siren, but I do remember that twist being a little bit uh, creative, in you know, at least in some respects. But then kind of going on to the humor, I don't like so much of it. For the fact that Dean can't say cock block, he has to say you see blocked me. It was like, if you couldn't say the word, why did you even say it? It's just a really odd joke added into the scene. I thought that the relationship with the coroner was a bit uh, odd. I think it was just kind of a ruse for the sake of a ruse sake. But again, I do like that they're building that bit of distrust and eventually when the siren gets the two of them to fight each other, you're kind of thinking the whole time is, maybe one of them's gonna break or something, but in the end it's Bobby who comes in and saves both of them by stabbing them with the the knife to kind of wore away the, the effect of the siren. He does that. I do like this episode, but at the same time, as I said, it's it doesn't hit for me as well as the beginning of the season was. I think I'm kind of coming down from the exceptional hype that was a lot of the beginning of season four being a lot of story related episodes. Now it seems that they're getting their filler episodes in and it's kind of wearing on me a little bit, but it's not terrible. I think that Sex and Violence is an okay episode. I think it's suitable and it's a decent Monster of the Week episode. It does slowly start to build what's going on, but it does seem a little bit repetitive as well in terms of the conversation. It's just doing this all over again, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. In the end, I'm gonna give Sex and Violence a four out of seven. It's an okay episode, it's suitable, it's all right. Um, I do like the little twist. I like Hoyt from True Blood being the twist of it, but aside from that, it's kind of a forgettable episode for me. The Supernatural writers commonly took artistic licenses of the monsters, folklore, and mythology for the show. This choice might dismay some viewers, but I do not think this was the sh show writer's intent. The explanation might be conjecture, but I feel many Supernatural episodes were written with a specific theme of our, our, our relationship in mind, and the monster is incorporated afterwards. That's actually pretty spot on. It often seems that the episode's monsters are interchangeable, and the writers search for monsters that fit the narrative instead of writing episodes about fixed, around fixed monsters. Personally for me, the Siren is the eeriest looking monster supernatural. The special effects for, for the Siren are impressive, and its appearance reminded me of the Rake. The Siren's motive is also loathsome when you consider that most other monsters from the supernatural hunt humans to fill a more primitive need, such as hunger or survival. I'm nostalgic for the days when Bobby could save the headstrong Winchester from the hubris. Yeah, it reminds me of the outsider character from the Stephen King novel where it goes after grief. It, it, grief is its main consumption. For sex and violence, I don't remember much about this episode. It's usually one I skip when binge watching this show, but I do remember hearing all of the sirens in this episode were named after all the Disney princesses or something along, or was that all the sirens throughout the show? Also, I do remember liking the chemistry between Sam and the Doctor. I thought she would have been a love interest coming back later in the episode, but nope, just a one-off character. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. I always kind of find that odd. It's just such a, such a one-off character. Sex and violence recap. Sam and Dean share their feelings with each other. Aside from the fight at the end, the only thing I really remember about this episode is the monster's true appearance being shown in the mirror. Some kind of wraith in Sam. It's kind of like a wraith in season five Sam interrupted episode. Supernatural's crew did a good job designing these horrific monsters. Appreciate the mention in this video about Kim Manners. Such a sad loss for this show. Yeah, no, we're gonna have a. I'm gonna have a little essay about him in uh, in a few weeks. I think, if anything, within the coming days. Sex and violence is a big foreshadowing of Sam and Dean's fallout near the end of the season. The funniest line in this episode I'll always remember is Dean asking Sam. What is it with you bang banging monsters? I think there's a lot of truth to this episode of what desperate guys will do in the name of love. The moment that always bewilders me is when the siren makes the ultimatum after injecting the brother with a supernatural STD that whoever kills which, whichever brother ends up being its brother forever. 
Plus, it's always interesting how the world of Supernatural is rarely used in the show overall. It's like a taboo term. But I do love Bobby getting to snag the kill at the end. We've seen this episode multiple times in the later seasons when the, episode, when the monster is for filler for the brothers hashing out their issues with each other for the current season. But it's a, still a sexy and fun episode altogether. Yeah, no, like I said, we're going to see this trope happen over and over and over and over again in the latter seasons. But thankfully it hasn't been worn out yet. So next episode is Death Takes a Holiday, so make sure to give me guys' comments about that episode in the comments below and I'll read those off. Do note this is also the episode where they do acknowledge that Kim Manners has passed, so there might be a little bit of talk about him in that episode as well. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.